Along the banks of the Rio Grande in Presidio, Texas, stands historic Fort Leeton State Historic Site. It is constructed of native materials of earth, rock, and wood. In this video, masters of adobe plastering at Fort Leeton demonstrate how interior walls and floors are repaired and maintained. They conform to the same principles and techniques that have been used over the centuries to preserve this site, one of the largest and finest historic adobe structures in Texas. Adobe plastering is a multi-stage process that is completed over a period of days and weeks to allow for proper drying, cracking, filling, whitewashing, and curing. Exterior walls are finished with an adobe mud plaster. Interior walls are protected by a heavy coat of whitewash. Most of the same materials used in manufacturing adobe bricks goes into making adobe plaster. Screen clay and sand is mixed with a blend of water and Aerospray 70, a binding agent. The first and second coats of plaster include a small amount of straw. Sammy Marquez from Texas State Parks and Wildlife explains. Here it's the fresh coat and you can see the stones and you, know, you can also see the, the straw that we use. The straw helps it bind, mix, mix in with the Aerospray 70 that we put there, whenever it dries, it kind of bonds in pretty good. This is a, we're, we're gonna use the second coat. As you can see, there's no stones no more. So it will be less rough and it will help you do the finish, finish work for your third coat. This is what we're gonna use for the final coat. And this is what you wanna see running. And it's the same process as the second coat, but it's just more Aerospray 70 mixed, mixed in with water. We're trying to do some plaster on the inside of the structure, and it's going to be the first coat, so you want it to be a little rough. As you can see, it has a straw with the stones kind of mixed in. Here it's uh, getting ready to use the wooden trowel and he's going to soak it in. You want to have it soaked and then you just do round and you kind of want to overlap what you plaster. That way you can blend in the old plaster with the new plaster. The running mixer we'll use for the third coat is applied with a brush. The final coat will dry without cracks. This is the way we do the whitewash. As you can see, it, it still needs some more, but after it dries up, it's gonna get the white color. And the whitewash, it's lime, and it's salt and water. And what we do, we leave it soaking in like for two weeks, and it should fill all the little cracks. Here we have a patch that covered a crack and we used the same plaster that, that we'll use on the third coat. Now we completely sealed the, the floor here. You can't see the patch no more. And we also sealed it with the Thompson uh, linseed oil sealer. And here we did already the three coats, the first, second, and third coat. And it's already for, for the whitewash. We do this first, this section first, and then we come and do the complete wall. As you can see, we completed the whitewash, and you can hardly see the patch that was here. And we went on and finished the complete room.